All right, so picking off where we left off last time, we have a nice, simple solid for us to work with. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and explode this for the next part, and we're just gonna delete the top here because we wanna see exactly what's going on, on the inside. Now, if we pretend that this is a nice little room, a, a nice bedroom with four walls on the side and very nice carpet, brand new on the bottom, and we want to make these walls a little bit thicker because this is not what walls look like, then how would we achieve that effect? We can use extrude like we learned before. So we're going to use extrude surface like this. And let's just keep it at 10. We can do that for every single one of these walls. Remember, we can uh, use the gumball tool here, get it 10 for all these. And depending on which... Uh, which side you did it on, it's either going to be missing this part or it's going to be overlapping. So if this was like that, if we made it all go on the inside, these two are going to overlap like that. It's not really what we want. So we're going to use, oh, delete that. I just undoed everything there. So we're going to join all these first and use the offset surface tool. So the offset surface tool is really really handy for when you want to basically make any singular surface a little bit thicker. So in this case, we want to thicken the walls. So we're just going to type in offset SRF for surface. Hit enter. First thing you're going to see is these arrows that are pointing all over the place. What these indicates is basically where the offset is going to go. So in this case, it's going to go on the outside because the arrows are pointing on the outside. If you want to change the direction of the arrow and want to make it go on the inside, we can either click it or we can type F for flip all. And if we hit enter here, it'll make a nice wall like that. These are not overlapping because it's one simple solid like that. As you can see here, close the solid poly surface, which is exactly what we want. Now I'm going to undo and repeat the command just to go over some of the other options that we have. Uh, again, we can change the distance here by typing D. We're going to leave it on 10. We can have the corners round. What that means is what just happened. So basically, the corners after the offsets, so the offsetted surface, will have a filleted uh, edge like that. Now, if we don't have this checked, it's just going to make a nice straight corner for us like that. Uh, in terms of the delete input. This is only applicable when we're trying to do the solids one. Uh, and what this means is if I check no, it makes a copy. So we have our original surface here and we have a new uh, solid as well. But if we have it on yes, it's going to delete the surface and just keep the solid. So as you can see here, I cannot select the surface anymore because it has been deleted. All right, now that we have our nice little room. I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. I'm going to hit Control Z just to go back to the pre offset surface uh, poly surface that we have. And I'm going to show everybody how to do a simple fillet on a poly surface. So with the curve, we know it's just the fillet command. With surfaces, it is fillet SRF for surface. Now we can change the radius here, but we're just going to keep it on 20 because uh, I think that's a pretty good one. And if we just simply add well, it asks for a first surface to fill it. So we're going to click on the first surface. And it's going to ask for a second one. And we click on the second one. As you can see here, it made a nice, nice fillet for us. Uh, but there's also all these extra Womble Jumble that we don't really want. And what this is due to is if we repeat the command, is this trim. So if we keep it on yes, and we repeat what we just did, it'll make this nice. Uh, filleted edge while deleting everything that wasn't really needed. But if we have it on no, it'll basically make a copy and make a new fillet but keep the old edge. If we keep it on split, it'll split these two surfaces while still making the fillet. So before these two were part of the entire outside, now it is not. So we're just gonna keep it. Uh, oh, we're just gonna keep it on yes. All right. So you can see since the bottom is not connected with the the walls on the top, 
it's not gonna have the same effect on the bottom here so we're just gonna use the surface to trim this out nice okay now we're gonna basically join everything on the top here and repeat our offset surface command oh uh, keep the distance 10 very nice okay now we want to basically do the same fillet command but this time on a surface and what we type in for that is the fillet edge command so you can see here it'll allow us to change the radius it's on 10 right now and it's a pretty good radius to have and bam there we have it and again because the bottom is not connected to the top here we're gonna have to trim this little triangle off but yeah that's how you make a fillet on the surface and on a solid